all right guys hi and welcome to the video this is part four where we would be creating our very first api congratulations so far you have done a great job we have created our very first app we created our project we did some url routing and we did a hello world program right now let us define our first api right we'll be using basically api view and then later on we'll be using i think let me just check my notes if i'm not wrong we'll be using create api views list api views destroy api views and um, uh, and so on right so let's get started without wasting much of time right so this works which is good beautiful right okay um now basically we need to write our api right so how am i supposed to do that so we need to do a couple of imports right so if you are following me from part one two and three so this is uh this would be a little easy for you since you are watching all my tutorials right so uh let us do a couple of imports so first of all we need to import this i'm gonna zoom in so that you can see it properly when you, you are uh, viewing it on your mobile phone as many people suggested me right so i'll say so what am i what, what, uh, so basically let's import something so i'm gonna say from django right from django dot shortcuts right and i'm gonna import get object or 404 right then uh basically i would say from django right from django or now we need to import from a rest framework so we'll say from rest framework right dot views and we'll say import API views because we need the views, right? Let us uh, import the response. So we'll say from, right? So from rest framework, right? So if you do not know how to install all of these, uh, watch my part one where I have covered all of these. So from rest framework, right? So from rest framework dot response, right? And uh, we need to import response, right? So uh, I think the last thing that we need i think this is pretty much it for very first uh, beginners right so um, let's make sure that this works first of all right we are all on the same track hopefully so to run we'll say python3 manage.py run server right when you say this it's gonna run a local host and we should see hello world right now so go to the port a thousand and hopefully no errors hello world that means everything is so far good all right so now let us define our api so the, the way api works uh, is basically uh it's a class you have to write a class right so i'm gonna write a very first class class and i would say let's call this api uh what do we call this let's say youtube so I'm going to call YouTube, right? Right. And I'm going to inherit from API view. See how am I doing it? Right. Now let us define our get function. This is my get API. This will also take a request R E Q U E S T S request. Right. And one more parameter it takes is format is equal to none. Right. That's cool. Now, basically uh we need to display something so return response later on we'll learn to do database and stuff so this is very basic right now so what i'll do is basically um just comment it out this one the index stuff we don't need it anymore that's our api guys basically if you do not know this is our api okay so uh now what we need to do is basically we need to route this some somehow to this one so so remember i taught you about the routing in my videos so let me collapse this let me collapse everything so the name of the project is web api right so inside that i'm gonna go to the settings of web api right so let us go to the urls so this is my basic home url so whenever anyone goes it goes to first api that means that folder dot url so it's gonna go here gonna come here now it's gonna come here so now it's gonna search index but index is not there right so get rid of that right now let us define our um, index here or basically the route here so let me see 
so so i'm gonna go to my urls dot py now we need to do a couple of uh, imports or it's fine we have already imported it right so make sure you have this import right we, we need to import views here so anyone who goes to the home url right i want i want to route him on the views dot and what was the class name remember youtube right and we would say as view right as view now this is uh, we need to do a couple of imports here as well so i'm going to say from rest framework right from rest framework dot url patterns dot url patterns import format suffix patterns right import that because we will be using this and one more thing we need to do is basically uh make sure we have include also because sometimes we'll be using that and the last thing that we need to import is from django dot conf dot urls and we'll import urls now people will ask me why url because sometimes you want to do like uh just import it right now and then in the later videos in the next videos we'll be learning that right so what did i just do what just happened right now let's see so i in the urls.py of the web api remember we created a route which will route to the urls then this comes inside first api folder it says where do i go in that okay urls okay it comes here okay then it knows that go to the views and then this class and this as view so this is what it does right and remember very important thing uh, the program or the project won't won't work if you haven't imported this that's why please watch my dependency videos so here you can see django filter django framework this you have to include in the installed apps right otherwise you will have errors and let's uh, run our very first api so this is our very first get api right so python3 manage.py run server to run the project remember hit the enter key and here you can see and now just see what happens when i refresh it wow look at this we got a so amazing beautiful ui and we have our very first message saying that get request works wow isn't that amazing yes it is it's really indeed amazing in the next video we will learn how to do a post request in django rest frameworks and once we master the get post put delete we'll move to Uh, basically database we'll create our database and do some migrations and access all of these apis with the database all right let's end the video right here and see you in the next video where we'll learn about the post request thank you for watching